Thank you for watching Closer Look. I want to talk to you today about the four reasons that I believe President Emerson Mnangagwa is failing in his presidency. I believe he is failing. Let me also make this clear. I don't believe he has failed. I just believe the president has gone through a false start. President Emerson Mnangagwa took over Danga Ra Robert Mugabe. Dangara Robert Mugabe iuru mende yangaine mombe zine foot and mouth. So when you look at government, a lot of foot and mouth was in there. President Emerson Mnangagwa comes in and he sees this foot and mouth and his strategy for cleansing the foot and mouth is not putting them in quarantine. In fact, his strategy is he then brings fresh, good, beautiful beasts. And he says, I'm going to put them mudangari ne foot and mouth and these beasts are going to make dangarangu rese. If I answer, this is in a foot and mouth. So he brings in Krusty Coventry and he gives Krusty Coventry Philip Chiangwa. Come on now. You think Krusty Coventry can say anything to Philip Chiangwa? Krusty Coventry, I don't know if you can ministry. As I don't know, I'm going to Philip Chiangwa. I don't understand how you think Krusty Coventry can go to Zifa, an institution run by bulldogs, and she's going to survive. You bring Mutuli Nube, who is a professor in mathematics. I mean, the guy taught at Oxford University as a professor in mathematics, the home of capitalism. You bring him to a country where the institution he is running was set up by Gideon Gono and handed over to John Mangujga. You think Mutuli Nube can survive that? Come on. He's not going to survive that. You take himself, President Emerson Mnangagwa. You give him the office of the president and cabinet. You look at the whole squad inside the office of the president and cabinet. Munu is an title in Utanga Jin's chief. Come on, one's the chief of something. Mu office of the president and cabinet. Meme, I will worry, yega, yega, because do my criminals are in the criminals around the president, meaning President Mugabe. I'm not sure I would, unless there were other criminals around the president, because I wasn't told who the criminals were. I'm just assuming when the generals say there were the criminals around the president, they're the ones we're referring to. Uh, and then you think President Emerson Mnangawa can run circles around those guys? Come on, you're not going to outsmart them. So this goes down and trickles down to the whole of the civil service. It is so corrupted that you don't then go and bring in new blood into bad blood and say the new blood, even though it's in the minority, is going to cleanse the bad blood. So that's problem number one. Reason number two that President Emerson Mnangawa is failing is he is surrounded by an echo chamber of false representatives. If the president today wanted to know what young people are thinking, he is going to ask his youth league. Now let me tell you this, across the 10 provinces in the country, the youth leaders who are running the provinces for ZANU-PF were not elected. They shouldn't be in office, but they're in office because Simba. So all they do when they see the president is they clap their hands, dance a little dance, and make the president think that everything is kumbaya, young people are happy, and the president thinks everything is happy. The president leaves the party, the first meeting he ever had with young people when he came in as president was a meeting organized by Vimbaika Jesse. I don't have a problem with Vimbaika Jesse, I think she's smart. Vimbaika Jesse is Dr. Kajesse's daughter, chief of protocol to the president. The meeting was held in Borodell at Celebration Center to a closed group of 200, an elite group of 200. So you tell me how the president is possibly interacting with young people. Every now and then we see the president go into universities where he caps graduates and he says, congratulations, you spent four years of your time uh, wasting it, now you're about to go and be unemployed. Boom. Uh, and I've never seen him take time to actually listen to the students because those are the real representatives of young people, but instead he's, we're falsely represented. You look at even who we think is beautiful to the president. President when the president says, where are the beautiful women of Zimbabwe? Zano PF presents this. Look at what we present to the president. Look at them walk, our gogolitos, and the gogolata, and gogolate. I don't, I don't understand. But you have a fundamental problem of false representatives. ZNCC is uh, one of the 
uh, groups that always meet with the president representing the business community. No, they don't represent the business community. Sit down with the Indian businesses that are running wholesales in this country. Sit down with the few traders that are actually trying to trade with the laws that you're giving them. Sit down with the gold panners that are panning against the will of the Chinese and the Chinese are getting in their way. Chinese stealing our chrome, stealing our diamonds, stealing our gold, Chinese stealing our everything. And yet we clap hands for the Chinese. We call them investors. We shut down our local young businesses who are trying to do the same thing. False representatives who are the echo chamber that the president has given an ear to. That's the reason number two why I believe President Emerson Mnangagwa is failing. Reason number three is I think it's a lack of em uh, empathy. You know, when, when we were growing up, whether Kumba or who's an OPF teacher join us an OPF, Taizidi Sokun Zukukaitka Mariro Mumarain or Musangano, Munu Wese Munoe and Amenda Kumari Rekoko, Mono Chema Kumari Rekoko, Mugorizamo, a Ngoma Usuku Wese. Because that's empathy. You show affection and emotion towards the pain of another person. Now, when this country went through fuel queues that were crippling not only to industry but to, to uh, individuals, I never saw the president get out on the street and say, I feel your pain. I never saw the president show up to pensioners who were having to now buy their BP tablets in US dollars, I never saw him show up and say, I feel your pain. You don't have to solve their problem, but at least let them know you feel their pain. Nobody, I repeat, nobody, if you were there, prove me wrong. Nobody has any idea what the president is doing. Nobody. I'm even starting to think that maybe, or either, we just don't know what the president is doing, or the president just hasn't communicated to us properly what he is doing. Uh, but either way, the lack of empathy to businesses that are having to bear the, uh, the burden of the laws you are setting. Remember, the problem we have in this country was not created by private sector. It was created by government, and private sector is having to pay for it. Uh, finally, I think the reason why President Emerson Mnangagwa is failing is the Kujiga Mega deals. We've seen a lot of headlines about mega deals, this, mega deals, mega deals, to the point where we even heard that there's a trillion dollars of mega deals that are being unlocked in Zimbabwe. So there's some sort of, one of two things is happening. Either these investors are coming and Varukuj Vega, or these investors are not coming at all. So there's a, a problem of uh, mismanaged expectations where the president expected Kutimaj Van Vajayani something. But that's a very flawed belief, right? Where you believe that someone is going to come and give you money because they like you. Uh, I budgeted. We budgeted money that was not ours. It's like Munano budgeta. Kunda square kumba kwako. The square and the ni wenya ya. The square and the square and the square the square and the square lula lula. And then that when that kumba chindi po something. And then over to budgeta. Kundu budgeta five hundred. Kundu budgeta five hundred. Kuga na performance yangu ngere fifty dollars. So you cannot budget money that is not. You know, I mean, the transaction is not clear. Now. China is the master of hosting. You look at what they did with the African conference a few months ago. It's a beautiful, beautiful host party that China does. They know how to host. And then when they finish hosting you, they give you a certificate or an MOU that you've signed and a beautiful picture. Understand, every single minister in Zimbabwe, anybody who's ever been a minister, including Ignatius Chombo, who was a minister for three days or something, a minister of finance, as Minister of Finance in those three days, Angadon Bendo to China. Every minister goes to China, across Africa, only to take pictures, sign fancy documents that are really non-binding and they really say nothing, but very little ever gets done. Now, these mega deals are the reason we are where we are today, because at a budget, at a rent, they just don't budget up, and they just want sugar, they do one sugar, they do two sugar, they do three. At a budget, they marry the one, the one room, the one. Unenge mukazi kana murume. That's what we did. We budgeted the economy of Zimbabwe on Chinese money, on Belgian money, and investors are frustrated. Every investor I have spoken to who has come into Zimbabwe is stuck in a hotel or has left their country because they are frustrated. These are the reasons I think President Emerson Nangagwa is failing. Let me make it clear. I do not believe he has failed. However, I do believe that his presidency has suffered a false start and there is need to 
go back to the starting line and start over. Until next time, or tomorrow, <laughs> head bowed.